What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here at the Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort. This place looks awesome. It has been redesigned, but this is an original tilling house, and it was his very first course that he designed. There's 27 holes here. We're playing the blue and the red course, which is part of the original design 18. The white course is a newer design. So this is gonna be part one, the front nine, which is the blue course. Our goal here is to break par. Would absolutely love to do that here at the Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort. We'll take you straight into one right here, par four, 441. Dog leg to the left. Our target's gonna be down the left side. We just wanna keep it right of those willows there. Tee it high, let it fly. That's right where we were looking. Should play pretty good. Couldn't have drawn up a better tee shot for the first tier. 115 yards left. Pin looks pretty accessible. I think this is a green light special. I think we're just gonna go full sandwich here. Should be a pretty good number. a great swing but the result wasn't too bad like i said the result was not that bad pin high just about 25 feet to the right there was a one-handed finish there that was more because i've been driving hopped out of the car came straight to the tee hit record and just went my back popped about 25 times on that driver's swing so just getting loosened up see if we can't roll the rock here get ourselves started off right at the shawnee Inn golf resort Level par through one, something I thought was pretty cool. The, I believe it was 1938 PJ Championship was played here. And also Arnold Palmer and Jackie Gleason filmed a movie here. So major movie productions, major championship golf, tons of history here. So I'd love to post a low number here today. This is part one of a two part series. The front nine will be the blue nine and then the back nine will be the red nine. Number two, par five. Looks to be pretty straight away, 571. I'm gonna be taking it kind of right at the green there off in the distance. We can post a number if the driver's participating like that. So right off the back of this box, there is the Delaware River all surrounding. The majority of these holes are actually out on a little island where the Delaware River like wraps around it, which is pretty cool. We are just about perfect here. 230 yards left. Pin looks to be kind of left center of the green. It's asking a whole lot out of the four iron. So I think I'm gonna just choke up on the three iron, flight it high, make a good solid swing. Was a little pulled right there i think it was probably a decent number all right i am right down there pretty much pin high here not a whole lot of green to work with would have definitely benefited us to miss it on the right side as long as it wasn't under that tree so when you come here to a left pin i do think if you're going to go for it favor to the right so going the whole wedge here we're gonna do the old flopadopolis so hopefully we've got a good light down there Oh, 
that's the unfortunate par here after a really good drive. This is a sweet looking par four. Straight away, 363. I don't really see a reason not to tee it high and let it fly. Couldn't tell if that hung onto the fairway. It was still hit really well. Almost right at the flag, just fractionally right of where I wanted it. I would take this drive every single day of the week. We've got 41 yards left to a back hole location. Let's get this up and down. Let's get our first pin slammer. That's hitting those little baby draws like Stallings was teaching us. First pin slammer of the day gets us to one under. Let's go. You absolutely love to see it. Always feels good to get a pin slammer early. We're on number four, par five, 570. So this hole does bend around to the right. Green is kind of set back in there. So our target aiming point it's going to be kind of the edge of the trees there with a little fade. I'm pretty sure we can carry all of that. You really just don't want to miss it left. There is water over there. You got tons of room to the right. Not our best swing right there. Definitely missed that right. But like I said, there's tons of room over there. We are in the rough and we got a little tree trouble here. The green sits off back behind this tree here. Walk over here and show you. All right, so there's the green, 241 yards left. And I'm gonna go with a three iron here and just try to cut it like 40 yards. That's the play. And if we end up a little short, we'll be up there chipping. Oh, I hit that one so good right there. It just didn't cut. Coming out of the rough, it is gonna be hard to put a lot of cut spin on that, but happy with that swing right there. And it is just off the green to the left. So it should be a good place to be chipping from. Like I said, not a bad place to miss it. We got green to work with. Pin is all the way on the other side of the green. Got probably 35 to 40 yards here. And we are pretty much exactly pin high. All right, not too bad from there. Oh, I played that to have a little break and that putt was straight. Remain at one under through four holes. We're on a number five, our first par three of the day, 207. Nice little backdrop right there. Front left corner. I think I'm gonna go smooth five iron here. It's asking a lot out of the six. Did not hit that one very good. That was short left in the bunker. Caught it a little toey and pulled a little bit. So no more swings like that. Let's get this up and down. gentlest of pin placements here on number five back to even par the unfortunate first bogey of the day right there however we're forgetting about that in the past we're on number six par five 521 little dog leg to the right i think the green sits off kind of back in there so our tee shot we do want to favor that right side so i think kind of that tree right there with a little fade
That was pretty much just how we drew it up there. Perfect shape right here. 204 left to what looks to be a pretty accessible pin right there. We're gonna go full six iron. Not our best six iron right there. It might be putting because I think that pin's all the way on the left side of the green. Miss was in a good spot to the right, but not a not a great swing there. Walking up here from the left side of the green. We did hit the green and we do have an eagle putt. Like I said, that was not a great swing right there. We are putting probably about 45 feet, something like that. That was huge for the team morale right there. Bounce back birdie gets us to one under on the day. Down the hill, par three, number seven. We are hitting back across the Delaware River, which is trundling right down there. 140 yards, maybe a slight helping breeze. There isn't much wind at the moment. I'm gonna go with full gap wedge here. Really good club selection there. A little left, but we got a good birdie look. We are just driving across this bridge here. We are leaving the island for a moment. So holes one through six that we played were all played on the island. The tee shot was on the island here on seven, playing across the Delaware River off of the island. There's not many golf courses that have a shot from the island to mainland. So that was kind of cool right there. We just hit that shot. We've got about 15 feet here for birdie. Let's get this thing hot. Let's just take this round low. Run number eight, bends around to the left. Green sits off back there. This really isn't a driver hole, especially with this tree right here in our way. So I think we're gonna take a three iron kind of over the edge of it right there. 354 yards. It's pretty much right at the green. I can't really tell how far left the fairway goes. We'll have to see. Definitely hit it further right when you come here. We've got tons of room over there. Going right at the pin is rough. However, just 84 yards to a somewhat accessible pin there. I'm gonna go with the lob wedge and just try to snuggle one in there nice and close. Let's end this nine strong. Tough to tell, but it kind of came out how I was anticipating, a little right. This rough here in Pennsylvania can get juicy. So you've got to be precise with how you're hitting shots out of the rough. Otherwise you can get some massive flyers or shots that come out really fluffy. There, we anticipated it very well. Almost on the number here, about 15 feet left. This is what we're faced with. Probably breaking on camera, a little left to right here. Should have listened to what I was telling y'all on the video a bit more. I got over the putt and I was like, I think this is gonna play straighter than I think. So I ended up playing it pretty straight and it definitely broke. First instinct is usually <laughs> the better one. So no more second guessing ourselves the rest of the day. We are on to our final hole in part one, number nine, part three, slightly down the hill, but also playing slightly back into the breeze. 217 yards. I think I'm gonna go with a four iron because 215 is just kind of maxing out the five. I'd rather swing smooth, flight it in there and give ourselves a birdie luck. All 
in all, pretty much what we were looking for, just a little left, but that was right on the number. I do want to thank the Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort so much for having me out. This place is fun and really not that far from New York and New Jersey. So if you're in one of those states looking for a little getaway, peaceful, come out here. This place is pretty sweet. Here's a little glimpse of the inn where I am staying while I'm here. Definitely a ton of history here. I don't know when exactly that inn was built, but it was in the 1800s. And the amount of like famous people who've stayed there is pretty cool. One final putt here in part one, about 30 feet right on pin high. That was one of the better iron swings that we've had, even though it was a little left. Happy with the tempo there. One under here on the front. Well, that is it for part one at Shawnee Inn and Golf Resort. That was so much fun. Hope y'all enjoyed coming along. Finish at one under 35. Have a shot on the back nine to shoot in the 60s, so stay tuned for that. As for me, Shawnee Inn, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.